What other news was there on the uh, on the cards as well? We were talking about this in the. Mm, that's right. Uh, let's talk about that. Let's talk about mm. that a little bit. Uh, Rob, I'll come to you first because I know you actually wrote a piece about it. Good piece, by the way. Thank you. Um, oh, I didn't see that. Uh, was that LT Arsenal? Yes. No, pain in the Arsenal. Pain. Yeah. Pain. We have what? Pain. pain. <laughs> it was on pain. <laughs> Well, this uh, if if he leaves, we're all going to be in a bit of pain. Um, Wolves linked heavily with with the signature of, of Mr. Ainsley, and uh, it looks like Nuno's side have a really good chance mm. of of bringing him in. Rob, what are your uh, overall thoughts on on that possibly being the case? Well, my my pers- I would I would personally like to see um, Melanos stay at Arsenal, um, but I the piece that I wrote. Um, was trying to find a little bit of logic behind um, the decision, I guess, to let him leave. Not because of the the club definitely aren't forcing him out. That's certainly what we're, we're sort of, what the the noises <laughs> are suggesting. Um, he but he um, he wants first team football, and it's not. I don't know if Arteta will will be able to guarantee him that and. If that happens, his frustration might only continue to grow and, and you don't need that during a rebuild. You don't need a frustrated player. You need a, a harmonious squad. And um, I think it's for him, if, if that's really what he wants to do, Wolves would be a good move for him. He's a player who's always done well in three at the back, three at the back systems. Um, so, you know, um, when he does go there, I, I'll be keeping a close eye on him because I think he could do really well at Wolves. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. I think that especially with the system that they like to go with, that kind of you know three in the back with the with the wing backs and everything, I think he'd be really well suited to that. Alfie, what are your uh, what are your initial thoughts and all of that uh, kind of stuff? Your opinions on him possibly going over to Wolves? You know what? Every day I wake up and wonder why the fuck did we give Cedric Suarez a four year deal? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and why did the club announce why? it again yesterday? <laughs> What was that all about? Yeah, that was really odd. Every, <laughs> every day I wake time. up. Huh? I do. <laughs> it's just a stupid decision. Maitland Niles just... is right there. He's better. He's mm, more yeah. able to give You're right. Bellerin a uh, competition. He can give competition to Tierney on the left hand side if if Kalasnas was to go. And I know Rob, what you're saying about in general, he's been better in a in a in a midfield. Four in terms of like a three-four-three three, mm. as a wing back. Having said that, his the the better side of his game is the defensive side. He's pretty good defensively. Mm. Um, offensively, he doesn't always offer that much. So I think he he is a good fullback as well. He's had a few dodgy games there, but in general, I, I, he had a pretty good run last season as a fullback. So I think he can play there. And I just think why why are we we could have we could have not signed him of Cedric and we could sell Kolasinac and we could just have Maitland-Niles and he would get a lot of game time because he would play on the right and left hand side and mm. maybe sometimes in midfield. I think as I know, I understand the club's, uh, I understand his position, sorry, in that he doesn't want to just be a utility player. And again, this is something they actually mentioned on, on Arscast after the FA Cup final. Um, if you look at Sir Alex Ferguson, he had players in his squad who were sort of utility players, but also they were sort of big game players. He'd bring them in to do specific tactical roles in certain games. You know, if you look at um, Park, he used to do that. You know, he wasn't he wasn't very regular, but he got game time and he did play in his big games to do certain roles uh, tactically. Uh, not just Park, there was Fletcher as well. He did that a bit. So, you know, Maitland-Niles could have played that sort of role. Um, mm. And I think Arteta wanted to keep, well, would have wanted to keep him and, you know, use him in that sort of way, you know, bit of a utility player, but also playing these big games. I think just the issue is Maitland-Niles doesn't want that and he wants to be playing regularly. He may be able to get that at Wolves because apparently Matt Doherty might be on the way out or maybe they'll use him in midfield. We'll wait and see. But I think um, Johnny as well, their left wing back is um, out for nine months or something too. So could, oh really? Yeah, I think he could get some game time there too. And he's he's a, a left footed, he's a right footed left winger. Oh left really? Winger, sorry. Yeah, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah, I think so. So, so maybe that's a direct replacement. I don't think he's good going forward as Johnny, but he's as good, probably better defensively. Mm. 
Um, I think you can always work so, on the offensive game as well. I think the, exactly. the main thing so that a, a defender needs to have is the ability to defend, to defend, and then you can work exactly. on the offensive outlet. And but to be fair, under a coach like Nuno, who is so. Um, you know, he's always worked with that system and I think he'll know how to get the best out of Maitland Niles. Um, but it, it's still a shame to see an academy of graduate leave, as it always is. Hmm. Uh, well, and, and a big issue that I have with it is not only what Alfie said and, you know, how he wakes up every day at, you know, whatever <laughs> it is, one in, one in the afternoon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was just today. Cause it was <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, you know, I, I do the same thing though, man. Waking up, I when I wake up at you know three in the morning, um, and I'm I'm like, <laughs> I, I do ask That's myself the same thing. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real, man. One member, we could guarantee you this, folks. One member of the Arsenal Cannon Podcast Extravaganza is always up. So reach out to us, and you're mm. always going to get an answer because one of us is always up. Yeah, so true, there actually. we go. Um, but it's like. The, out of the three right backs we have at the moment, you know, those three main right backs and, and Bellerin, Ainsley, and Cedric, the one that I want to get rid of is Cedric. And that's the one we have no chance of getting rid of. You know, you look at Ainsley's age profile and his physical uh, physicality and everything. He's 22 years old, out of the academy. I mean, I think, I, I don't know if you guys would agree, honestly, if we were to hold on to Ainsley for a few more years, we could probably get even more than the associated twenty million pound fee that's being, that's be, too being talked about with them. No, oh, twenty it million is, it is. is way too low. You, I can't believe you're looking it. Looking at Dominic Solanke, and I know you can't mm. compare everything to these shite players that went for too much. But if you're looking at Dominic Solanke, Jordan Ibe, these players that Liverpool shipped off, you know, for extortionate amounts, yeah. he's a higher profile player. I know he's he's like a fullback utility player so he's not just going to he's not going to bring in as much as a striker but surely we're looking at minimum 25 million yeah why are why are arsenal the only side that seem like they're not able to uh, take advantage of the kind of english tax if yeah you like. we we're so you know? shit at selling players we really are not very we good are. at that um mm. which i mean the yeah. career statistics um Ainsley Maitland-Niles, excluding Premier Premier League Two, has played uh, oh and UEFA Youth League, but still Made exactly a hundred appearances. That that's a lot of appearances. Club. That is a lot of appearances. Mm. Mm. Surely you can exactly. sell him yeah, for a bit and, more. Yeah, and in how many million. different? Exactly, exactly. And you know what's? It's really unfortunate because I really like Ainsley as a player, and I want him to do what's best for his career but i also want what's best for arsenal obviously do you know um, why else it's i really too? think because he you could see that his attitude had changed completely at the end of the season mm. the way he spoke after the fa cup final he was seems yeah. so committed and he seems to have matured as well it's a completely different ainsley maitland i feel like we finally got ainsley maitland into a position where we want him to be and now we're letting him go Well, would you guys maybe even like, I, I don't know if, if you guys would be, you know, willing to take it this far. And I'm not saying I don't rate Bellerin, but would you maybe even rather sell Bellerin instead of Ainsley at this point? Um, I mean, it sort of depends on the fee that you could get for them. I really like mm. Bellerin and I think he's a good yeah, player. So do I. Um, but I think his stature uh, as a player is, is slightly higher than Maitland-Niles. And I do think he could command, you know... I think there'll be international clubs interested in him, bigger yeah. international clubs. Yeah, I mean, I maybe he could mine 35, 40 million, maybe even that. Maybe not in a COVID world, we'll see. Um, but I don't know. I think I think I would, I'd probably edge towards keeping Bella in over Make the Niles. Sample okay. size is higher. Um, yeah. But I would, I would just keep both. I mean, if we could yeah. sell Cedric... <laughs> Yeah, which doesn't seem possible. I would. How old is Cedric? He's actually not that uh, old. I don't think. Good question. Let me let me look at it right here, real quick. Guys, just keep talking so there's no dead air. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, I think he's yeah. like 27, 28. Yeah, he's twenty eight. He's twenty eight. Yeah, twenty eight. What? Why has that not been talked about more? That we've given a four year contract mm. to Cedric Suarez, an extremely average player. I don't want to well, put him down, but he's I'm extremely average. 
I'm sorry to interject, but as of eight minutes ago, according to the Daily Canon, um, on the subject of right backs, uh, Jordi Ose Tutu is also off on loan again, oh, and that. now he's going to Cardiff. Yeah. So.